So in the plan today, we're here investigating snow rugby. We were on the field, Dimitri Yashvili and I, with Land Rover just uh, having a go. And it's the first time I've uh, run around and, and got involved, probably for sort of three years. So yeah, it's fun, huge amounts of fun. Uh, it's very different. The snow is not like the grass, it's not flat. So it's harder to find the good steps, but the values are the same. It's a rugby game. This England squad has been in amongst the best of the best for several years now and every time they play the best there's always this expectation that it, we're going to win or it's going to be close and I'm excited for the learning that's taking place as long as it's backed up by a real desire and energy and from being around the squad and, and working within it a little bit as I do believe me there's no shortage of that and that that's really the key to anything you need for World Cup is a group of players that are already busy inspiring themselves and a group of coaches are doing the same thing and then then you get something incredible and I, I think that's what they've got. Owen Fowl, he has a leadership quality um, and he has a real conviction about how he sees the game. He has an openness outside of the game to learn, but when he's on the field, he's, he's pretty ruthless. And from a number 10, that's kind of what guys around look for. It's hard to say who will win the World Cup. I think New Zealand will do it. They are at the top of the world in, in terms of intensity, skills. They have very good young players, very good experienced players. You look at this Wales team, and our England team in 2003 and, and yeah they've won a Grand Slam in World Cup year which means they've gone unbeaten for that has to be a year for me it's important that they did it but it's only as important as they make it yeah the, these guys I'm sure they'll be the first to say that what won the Grand Slam won't be good enough to win the World Cup but if they add on top of that it's a great place to be in. Ireland are dangerous if, if we'd have had a World Cup um, this autumn we'd be speaking about Ireland exactly the same way we've just spoken about Wales one sort of group of games doesn't change anything what it does do is puts Ireland back in that bracket of backs against the wall everyone's doubting you a little bit now and that's the worst Irish team you ever want to play against is a team that, come, that sits in the change room and says let's put our passion together and let's let's show everyone what we're what we're about